Matt, how do you turn what happened last weekend from a 45-minute performance into an 80-minute performance? Because if you can do that, then everything else that sort of went wrong is sort of removed in the future. Yeah, I think um, we've had a look this week and just try not to go into our shells, which I think we did a little bit in the in the second half. We tried to to see the game out and rather than just keep playing the way we were playing, we, you know, we you know we, we had them in that first half and and and, and beginning of the, the second, but uh, we just let them in by by mostly our errors. Really, it wasn't wasn't they did anything differently or played particularly well. We just we just shut up shop and and didn't really work for us. And when that tide has turned, how difficult is it to reverse that? Um, yeah, it's tough because, like you say, rugby is a big momentum game, and when it's not going your way, it's sort of a bit of a slippery slope. And I think we backed up a couple of errors. You know, if you make an error, it's not the end of the world. But if you back it up with another one, another one, and three, four, five, and it becomes quite difficult. And then we're sort of chasing our tails a little bit. I think that happened in that second half, and probably lost a little bit of confidence. And like I said, gone into our shells, not played as much, and and for that reason, they've just they're just not back in the game. Yeah, I suppose it's a position they've been in before and come out of successfully. And I suppose you know you'll only learn if you can actually come through that a couple of times, can't you? And then you sort of then you've got that experience of I suppose cool heads. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're they're a quality side, and we were probably naive to think that we we maybe took our foot off the gas to get gas when we were that that um, far ahead. But um, like I said, they're they're a quality side, and you know we, we we've happened to us a few times last year, so you'd like to think that we've had our learning from it, but. That's why it's really disappointing for us this week, but you know we'll put it to bed and, and move forward to Worcester. And is this a good game for you to, to go into because it's a local derby and that, if nothing else, focuses the mind? Yeah, it'll be a tough one. Um, like Worcester, are good, you know, built a really strong squad, and you know look at their backs and you know big forward pack as well. And um, I know the scoreline probably didn't reflect how close the game was against Saris, but they really did push Saris for for, for 40, 50 minutes, and, and you know Saris obviously a top class side, so I think. Um, that you know we're going to have to go out with the same attitude as we did and, uh, against Leicester and and finish the way we did as well. So um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a tough game. And is it still a special occasion for you going back to Six Ways? Yeah, it's always nice to go back there. It's um, obviously changed a lot since I've been there. A lot, I think there's probably only two, maybe three players that are still there. So it's um, yeah, it's a very different club, but a um, lot, lot of building work, to change and stuff like that has gone on. But um, no, it's always nice to go back and meet a few fans and. And play on the six ways pitch, yeah. And I suppose in the Premiership, you know, it's been a long time since Gloucester have won there, hasn't it? Yeah, I can't um, can't remember the last time to be honest. Um, so uh, yeah, it'll be a big job for us to uh, to go out, like I said, get the win. And we said they're a quality side, so we've got to take nothing for granted, which which maybe we did last year. So we've got to make sure that we turn up, you know, all guns blazing, and with the attitude, the way we started the game, and make sure we finish the the way we start, really.